Good evening, everybody. This is my uh, workflow under I3 gaps. Uh, as I had mentioned before, I think it was in the last video that I was going to show you um, how I'm uh, using I3. Um, that has been my default. That's what I started um, my window managers with. Uh, several years back and I switched over to DWM um, have and decided that I would start revisiting uh, i3 yet again um, back then um, I started out with i3 blocks and moved to um, polybar um, polybar is okay um, I, f I find that it's 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 more it does more than what I really needed to do so I revisited i3 blocks um, yet again. So what I what I did is I took the best some of the the custom scripts that I used in DWM and uh, DWM bar, uh, and I just kind of fudged them over a little bit for three uh, for the i3 blocks. And as you can see, they're very similar to what you if you've seen the other video. There's very very similar to what I had uh, there. Uh, basically, you'll see that I've got my my uh, my uh, update tells me when packages need to be updated by mail, my trash, um, the current temperature, which for, you know, 11, 12, 30, almost 1130 at night, it's 90 degrees here in central Florida, um, my volume, uh, and my uh, indicator for um, my internet. Um, basically, it's just, uh, it, it will either be a solid gl uh, globe, which would, mean, which would mean that I'm hooked up to ethernet, or it would be um, a little antenna, a, wi a wireless antenna, which will let me know that I'm under Wi-Fi. It's, it, it will determine that on its own. Um, I, it's still using con man, but it's, it's um, getting information directly off of whatever um, adapter is um, active at the, at the time. It's basically, if I'm not mistaken, it's just doing a, a grep of whatever one is, is active and you know, setting a, a little tick, and then depending on what what the what the number is that it, it recognizes, it will. Sorry about the motorcycle on the outside. Um, it'll 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 set the right um, the right um, icon. Of course, the date and time. Um, none of these do anything when you click on them. Um, I don't feel the need to have interactive buttons. I just need indicators. To show me what I need to know when I look at them, um, you'll also notice that the uh, I, I definitely do not run in this configuration. I do not have a tray running, and we'll look at that real quick. We'll look at the i3 config. Well, first off, let's take a look at the auto start. Um, well, we'll visit that one after the fact. But here um, is my i3 config. I'm still, like I said, I'm still working on this. Uh, I'm going to strip out a lot of things and um, I'm going to put them in separate files but as you can see it's really it's it is very very straightforward not much has been added some variables my gaps there uh, smart gaps is on if, if, if people if you some of you folks don't know what the smart gaps does um, if you only got one terminal open it will be the full screen uh, you will not see any gaps along the side here it'll be the you know um, from total left to right, top to bottom, you'll still see the bar. And then when you open up a second screen, then you'll start seeing the gaps applied. Um, that's what the Smart Gaps does. Uh, you'll see that I've got my typical applications that I use, uh, and I explained that in the last video. Uh, this falls down uh, along the same path as my daily driver. Like that's the whole idea, is to emulate, do the same things that I would do under DWM, but in I3. I decide to ever go back. Like I said, I, from time to time I switch back now and then. Um, my auto start has things that will be called up. I know that you can, a lot of folks, put that in um, in dot um, xnet, I think it is. Um, depending on what distro you're using, it could be, I think under Debian it might be something like xnet, um, or dot xnet rc, I think. I'm not real sure, um, or in this case, you you could actually put in in your in the in, in the X session. So, and I'll give you, a, I'll show you what I mean. 
yeah see um, so um, I know that when I first started out uh, using Debbie and that's where I had things um, in there or the I, I don't re really remember too much um, because I it's been so long since I've actually used i3 and I've done things very differently um, actually I I uh, blame or credit um, Luke Smith because I saw his setup with i3 and actually that's what got me in he, he actually got me into he inspired me to get into the window managers um, I went through the the whole gamut of the different desktop environments um, I absolutely hate GNOME um, not a big fan of KDE either um, and during my experience with both Linux and the BSDs because I started out in under uh, FreeBSD um, before I even went to Linux, spent many, many years under FreeBSD and uh, OpenBSD and NetBSD. Um, I loved OpenBSD, but FreeBSD was more usable for a desktop environment. And I went through every, a, a bunch of them. I went through, you know, I went through your your black box, open box, um, Enlightenment, um, Window Maker, things of that nature. Some of you guys probably don't even know what some of those are. Um, uh, I know that they're still active. Window Maker, I don't know, but. Um, Maybe someday I'll dig up my old screenshots and just do a short video of nothing but music and, and fading in and out from the different backgrounds that I ran. That's actually not a bad idea. In any event, um, show the backgrounds, the, uh, the, the desktops that I used to run. Uh, in any event, so it was Luke Smith who got me into i3 and LARBs, and I, did a, uh, I pulled down his uh, configurations. Um, never used them per se, always took what I wanted to use uh, and and put them into my own um, my own installations um, I figure that's the best way to do that why use someone else's setup um, and it was his um, his version of getting mutt up and running that that uh, that pushed me over to, to using mutt now my provider with his LARBs it wasn't capable of pulling that information in so I was determined to use MUT so I learned it the old-fashioned way um, read a lot of um, documentation on how how the how to do things um, how people are doing things and come up with my own scenario and it works really really well anyways enough um, so it's it's yeah everything is really not much different than from what you saw under DWM um, in any event but yeah, it's it's most of you guys have already seen these things. So um, and then even down to the whole, uh, you know, dumping certain things to certain windows, and then what's going to be floating and what's not, as you can plainly see here. Uh, again, the same type of a scenario. I've got um, some some um, uh, some Debian centric stuff and some. Um, arch centric stuff in here too so that um, pretty much takes care of the configuration now the auto start like I said um, that's basically going to uh, run everything that you saw uh, in DWN and but in, under this scenario I am actually using the SXHKD and we can actually hop over to there and take a look at that. Yeah, let's just do this. I mean, it's it's pretty straightforward. I, you know, basically the I just use the same key bindings that I use in DWM. So um, maybe someday I'll I'll patch DWM to use SXHKD. But right now I like it the way that it's running. Um, not much more I can show you um, other than you know um, letting you see you know that it's, it's virtually the same pull up the different managers there and, and then you know the box that's why I had mentioned before the whole smart gaps gives you the whole screen and there's that and then of course the master and stack um, that I have said uh, there's a there was a, a script that I inst uh, am running from there that gives me the whole master and stack. I, yes, I know you can do the you know the control V and the control H, and I can still do that. Um, I do believe I can. Yeah. So I mean, 
you know, force a Fibonacci if I want to. But, you know, I just found it easier to just keep things the way it was um, under DWM. So that's it, guys. Um, I want to try to keep these videos short and sweet. I know I ramble. Uh, I do tend to ramble um, a lot. Uh, I don't mean to, but um, I hope you enjoyed. The oh, I did want to point out one thing. If you ever, if you if you happen to be running Debian, and you really want to install um, i3 gaps, this what I have here in the note. Um, just a lin just a guy Linux. Um, I ran through his. He's got a script that he set up. Modify the script to suit your own needs. If you're ever unsure about wanting to pull down i3 gaps because it, it's not available for for Debian per se, only i3 window manager. Um, you can't have i3 window manager installed. That's gonna that's that's a no no. You need to if you want this, go to this guy's YouTube channel. There's the link right there. I'll put it in the description also. Watch the video. Um, do a a, a, a git clone modify the script as you see fit it'll install all the the dependencies that are required that is probably the best way and the fastest way to get i3 gaps installed on your debian system um, absolutely perfect highly recommend um, that he's got some great videos too uh, i don't not entirely sure how long he's been running videos he doesn't have a whole lot out there um, but he concentrates on on debian um, so give this guy um, a look over um, and if you follow the scripts that he created to download i3 uh, gaps and install it, you won't you won't be sorry. He also gives you the ability to throw in um, the configurations that he uses. He even uh, he even uh, has uh, some wallpapers that he threw in there too. So um, it can be an installable um, window manager that you if you want to use what he's done. But like I said, you can modify what he's got there and. Uh, you know make it your own anyways that's it for this video guys I'm going to cut it for now and I don't know if I'll be doing another video um, during the week uh, I'm gonna try to cut videos at least one video every weekend moving forward you know sometimes life happens um, and you need to just do things when you can so other than that guys have yourself a great Saturday evening um, and I will catch you in the next one bye bye